this debate. <laughs> we thought that this debate is going to be about pre prerequisites. We thought that we we're going to debate whether Egypt is better off as a, as a dictatorship that is stable or as a democracy that is unstable. However, we're going to answer the case. We had two cases from the first part, from, from most part of it. One, that Western democracies are better than other democracies. We think that this is a given. This is something that we do not wish to debate. And that proves nothing. The UK is probably better off than Egypt, but that doesn't prove that Egypt is not a democracy. Yeah, yeah. They did not show, and specifically, the first speaker for second prop did not show in any way why the things that she has given us on the table are prerequisites for democracy. They probably, can do, they probably make a democracy much better, but that doesn't mean that you are undemocratic without that. My only line, my only uh, 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 long uh, uh, argument in this debate is what it is a democracy and how we think that education is absolutely irrelevant to representation. I'm going to rebut some things that uh, uh, she said uh, uh, um, in her points. A. The point about public discourse, it is better to have a public discourse as we have in the West, probably, although it has its own problems, but it is also good to have a public discourse in pubs, to have public discourse in your tribe, to have public discourse in your society, in your group, in your national identity, and so on. All of these do not require anything, because you probably speak with your family, even if, if you don't speak the national language. Second of all, basically, she told us that Germany, where, where you have people that up to the age of seven don't speak German, is not a democracy. Because if this is a prerequisite, and they cannot participate in public discourse, then Germany is not a democracy. We think that this is absurd, and that by their case they fail. Now, the second point about human rights is obviously not a prerequisite. We think that liberal values are very nice, but you can't be democratic, with, with democratic without having uh, liberal values, and equal opportunities are conductive to democracy, we accept that, but they are not a prerequisite. We assume that whenever someone is represented, he's going to have more opportunities, but having absolutely equal opportunities is not a prerequisite. We think that democracy, by its nature, the fact that I have a group that I can vote to, even if it's my tribe that I vote to, and someone gets my voice out to the government, I'm going to have more opportunities, which is a prerequisite for democracy. I'm going to show it in my uh, first, first point. I also want to say just in one sentence that she said that they're going to teach us how to be individuals, we're going to show you why we're individuals, regardless of what the government says. Um, okay, so my point is, what is a democracy? So the concept is, uh, behind democracy is to have the least amount of uh, tyranny. And knowing your own interests best is one of our basic assumptions. We think that they cannot contend that. We think that knowing your own interests best is a basic. Otherwise, you have a situation in, in which a country knows your, your interests better than you do. These sort of situations are called dictatorships. They're called communism, they're called um, you know, China and so on. They think that they think that your interest, that they, the way that they perceive your interest is more important than the way that you perceive your interest. Our definition of a democracy is a system that regardless of how well you know your interests, you know them better than anyone else, regardless of how educated you are, because you're going to live your life. And if your type of loyalty, no thank you, if your type of loyalty is more important to you than to have equal education, or to have equal rights, or to have you know, women's rights, and so on, it might be the case, it might be the case that you feel more threatened by the bigger tribe taking over your tribe, taking over your land, killing your, your children, and so on, than you, do, uh, than you care about having all sorts of values that are a privilege of Western countries. That is the only definition of democracy that we are going to accept. But, and this is important, most decisions that people make are not based on rational reasons, they are not based on knowledge, and there is no big gap between people who can make this, they, they, who do have education, who don't have education, and we accept that in Western society as well. I'll take you in a second. We accept it in Western society as well. We don't think that professors in the university should have more votes than people who did not graduate from the university. We do not think that people who are more educated or who know political systems better um, should decide more than other people should decide. The only definition of democracy is that one individual gets one vote regardless of how educated he is. And I'm going to analyze it in a second before, after I uh, like most. I can't read letters on the, uh, the voting uh, when I vote and I see the, pur the purple and I think, oh, that's better. We're not going to vote. That's representation, but that's not democracy. Okay, more. I, I think that this can easily be solved by having you know, ballots in many languages or have better democracies in these countries. Um, we accept that this might be a problem, but it is a minor problem, at best. Um, okay, 
Okay, so why are decisions not knowledge-based? Because, well, if, if I have to decide tax policy or something like that, it is better if I have an, a, an education and, you know, a college degree, a, you know, regarding a tax policy. But most decisions that we make in the political system are long-term, and in long-term decisions, knowledge is not that relevant. What is relevant in Western democracies, family voting is a phenomenon that we accept. We think that if your parents go to a party and you feel the same because you lived in their household and got their values, it is legitimate. Knowing your interests best, as I've, as I've shown, is something that people generally know. So if I care more about my tribal loyalties than about women's rights, then I might know. Then I might vote for the party that I think is best for me, regardless of what they think is best for me. And I make uh, value judgments. I make judgment calls. I do not know, and no one in Israel knows, whether giving up on the Golan Heights is a good idea or a bad idea. We don't know if it's going to, give, to, to, make, to, to uh, bring peace with Syria. We do not know that. So when I make that decision, it is a value choice. And anyone can make a value choice, regardless of the amount of knowledge that they have. And this is more importantly. And this is the, the, the most thing. So first of all, we've shown you that education doesn't mean that you're democratic. But beyond that, I have a list of examples of countries that were definitely democracies by any definition and did not have proper education. England in 1688, when it became a, a democracy. France in the 1800s after the French Revolution. US in the 1800s after the revolution. They did not have education, but they were democracies and we accept them as democracies. Indonesia does not have education. It's one of the biggest democracies in the world. 300 million Indonesians go to vote. Ghana who still is a tribal democracy, is a prosperous democracy with a strong democratic process, including public discourse. However, there are situations where a democratic uh, process uh, with education brought about tyranny. In Iran, they teach us about Koran. In China, they teach us about, about Maoism. In Russia, they taught, us, taught, taught them about communism. Under these situations, the fact that someone uh, uh, teaches people how to represent themselves better as they want to do can also lead to tyranny. This does not only show that this is not a prerequisite, it also shows that under many situations this can be extremely harmful for society. Thank you very much.